Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Hopefully I've got my marbles back. Because, wow, I was doing terrible last part. <laughs> well, I mean, I was making progress, but... Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, grappling hook. We got it in the last part. We are really raring to go to collect stuff at past islands that we've been able to... You know, we had to leave behind because of said tre <laughs> because of said treasure ah, that we didn't have at the time. So we were kind of stuck. <laughs> uh, can I get this before you blow? Oh, poopers! I could not. I just wanted to try it. I really should just be using regular bombs. It's much, 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 much easier <laughs> because you you don't have to be in a specific spot. When they start inhaling, you can just whip out a bomb and you're good. Okay, now grapple, 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 grapple. Yep. Oh, I let go of the L button before I got. That's okay. Yep. Oh. Why did I slow down? That was weird. Anyway, <laughs> it doesn't cut your thing. It's just that when you get knocked off it, it, it does. It, yeah, it does kind of cut like dustly, and you can also use this to kill off uh, ice bubbles and ice keys, which is pretty dang handy. <laughs> and I did not mean to do that <laughs> in the slightest. I just want to kill you. There you go. Now I gotta make another tight rope between there and go across. There we go. And boing, 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 boing. It's gonna teach you about a new way to use your grappling hook again. It's easy to leap farther than you ever thought possible. All you must do is use rope in new and creative ways. Like this. Now what do I do with this? Well... <laughs> I love that. That's so neat. I think this makes the grappling hook even more versatile than the uh, hook shot. And, well, not maybe not more versatile than the double claw shots, but the hook shot in general. <laughs> That opens that. That opens that, but we could not get that treasure chest still. There's still something in our way. And, when, and to get that solved, we gotta go through the rigmarole over on this side. There's also a little secret here, and also a, sh a shortcut in, it, in its own way. Whoop! I went too far. I am so sorry. I, even though I recouped, I can't escape my bad playing today. <laughs> I've got potions, but still, this is just... I'm doing a horrendous. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Uh -huh. The number of treasure chests is three, and thus I'm going to mark it on my map like I said I was going to, and that is a terrible three. No, thank you. <laughs> so, not wasting treasure chests. I mean, not wasting money on finding out where treasure chests are any longer. Uh, hmm. I do believe I can get up there using my rope, but I want to see... Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I wanted to see if there's anything else over here that might be of interest, but I don't think I can do so right now, which is alright. Now I gotta connect. Two, wee! <laughs> don't fall off the edge, because that's ice. That's sort of a sort of kind of a trap there. And, oh, I can't. I'm too far away. I know there's an eye switch right over here, so I got out my bow ahead of time. Uh, there we go. And that will open that door, of which we will now have to go through. Of course. <laughs> when there's a door that opens, you best well go through it. Have you not learned that by now? And this is a shortcut back. Or, well, the long cut back, in case you forget to hit that eye switch up there, I guess. And oh, 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 now this is really cool here. This is something uh, that took me a while to figure out on my first playthrough. You connect that there, but that's not what we need to do here. Because if we go on this side, it's like oh, oh, what, what, what the heck? What? Uh, huh? What? There's no hint or anything like that. There's just pots. And if I were to, yeah, if I turn towards those guys, they they turn away. How the heck do you hit these with an arrow then? Well, well, watch this. Connect those, and now you would think that your bow would bounce. I mean, you think that it would cut the rope, but it doesn't. It bounces off the rope, and you can hit the eyes. 
Isn't that neat? <laughs> and now to get rid of the rope, you just, yeah, you just pull it out and then it just pops away out of existence. And then you get a chest with a small key. Yes. Which means... <laughs> two chests now. Alright. I haven't really had to mark anything on my map this dungeon thus far, have I? <laughs> Other than the, the treasure chests. Small key! Wee! I think there's one more chest in, like, somewhere, like, up here, and then the, there's the boss key in there. Oh no! Oh no! Man, there's a lot of you yooks around these parts, aren't there? Hi. Hi. You like bombs? Oh, you've also got friends! Oh. Oh, that might be, uh, might be an issue after all. <laughs> Because they might freeze me while I'm trying to kill you this way! Oh, no, I, I worked, worked it out. <laughs> Alright, now I can kill you without wasting any of my valuable resources. <laughs> Woo! Heck yeah! And now we get another treasure chest! <laughs> and now we're down to one! Oops! Good. <laughs> That's a terrible one, but whatever. Okay, there's nothing else here. And now, now, now... It's not a treasure chest that I was thinking of that's over here, it's actually a switch. So I was wrong about the treasure chest position. So now, what I gotta do to get up there... ...is another sort of use. You can actually use the grappling hook to climb. You go jump on top of one of the posts... And then you go on top of the post, and then you go on top of another post, and then use the grappling hook on there, etc, 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 until you finally reach the top. Isn't that neat? <laughs> uh, but otherwise, over here, I didn't really show this off, did I? It's a, it's a dead end here, so it's just there to kind of... Oh no, I have to do the rigmarole just to, just to get back. <laughs> That's fine, doesn't really matter. Now over here, be careful, it's icy. Be careful, it's icy. And also, I gotta do some... Mm -hmm. Do some battling here. There we go. I don't really care if you run, because you're gonna go on safe, solid ground. Well, it's all solid ground, but it's less slippery here, where there's texture. <laughs> and now, I can just go right here and just stylishly slide my way over to the next the grappling hook point, which would be the torch. And I purposely messed up my grammar there. Get the boss key, and I am out of here. And for the sake of completion... <laughs> there we go, all treasure chests have been collected and I did not waste a single rupee. Alright, so... Handily... This is right by the boss pedestal key lock door, whatever you want to call this thing. And thus we can go right to the boss. Heck yeah! And now, get yourself filled up with all sorts of goodies! Mostly hearts, I would guess. <laughs> yeah, lots and lots of hearts, actually. Because you only need the grappling hook and the sword for the boss. Woohoo! And this boss is pretty dang cool. <laughs> and hot, too. Ah, double audio glitch! Thank you, emulator. <laughs> Oh boy! Oh boy! Double boss! Well, it's actually one boss, but you can't see its body ever. It's Gliok, the two-headed dragon! So, what it does is it just kinda... kinda shoots stuff at you and you gotta... Oh shoot! You gotta connect... connect two things... to bounce... Oh shoot! I am releasing my L button way too early here and I apologize to bounce the fire or ice balls over to the other dragon and cause damage to their mask. Eventually, their mask will fall off because it'll be damaged so much. And they switch sides and he repeats. And when they do that attack at you, you know, when they open their mouth and attack you thusly, what happens is that they actually cut your rope, which is kind of more handy than anything, because, yeah, because it kind of gets out of the way and, yeah, it just works out for you. <laughs> Makes it easier to dodge their attack if you're too close to the front or something like that. But I'm gonna be mainly standing 
um, near the back more than anything. Now, when they go in the water, a tidal wave is going to happen of sorts. And now you got to stand on top of the pulse to get away from the tidal wave. And then you get in the water to dodge the ice falling, because if the ice hits you while you're on top of the pole, well, it's going to cause damage. You can't, don't really have all that much mobility on top of the pole, so that is how you dodge their tidal wave and ice combo. <laughs> all right, you're back. Which one is it going to be? Which one is it going to be? Huh, 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 huh. It's going to be red. So I'm switching it over to blue. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna cut that, which I don't mind at all. And this, he's also trying to actively attack me as well, I guess. But it's not really doing much. <laughs> as you can tell, it's very, very easy to dodge. Oh, well, there goes one mask! And... Oh, oh, oh. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time! Oh, I did! <laughs> Just barely. That pleases me greatly. Alright. Next phase of the battle is coming! You know the deal with this. Tidal wave is coming. Get up on higher ground. <clears throat> it's so intuitive, it's crazy. <laughs> like, all this stuff is just so obvious to do. It's it just all comes naturally when you when you realize the power of what you can do with your grappling hook. Like, you know, we were bouncing arrows with it, we were using the pulse to get the higher ground. It's just a marvelous boss fight. Okay. What do we have here? Oh no! Oh no! Our posts! No! How are we going to bounce back shots now? How? What will we ever do? Well, we got another way to do this. Connect two things together, like you're trying to make a tightrope. <laughs> I love that. And then attack like crazy, and then we just repeat. Yeah! By the way, if we let one of the attacks go through, I'll let one go through here, just for the sake of showing you. Um, it'll, it'll leave a trail of fire or ice or whatever across the land, and uh, it, it'll kind of sort of get in your way for a little while. Yeah. Oh, I took a hit from it. Well, that's okay. I was just showing you that. Obviously, I wouldn't take a hit otherwise. Oh, shoot. <laughs> nah, I was just kidding. I knew that was coming. It's always It always does the chomp attack before it does the tonguey thing. So then I was just joking around, because I was going to say I'm, I wouldn't take a hit otherwise, and I purposely took a hit. Get it, get it, get it, ah, whatever. <laughs> and, oh, he's going underwater. And... It's on. Like Donkey Kong. And I'm in. <laughs> I'll always like to get off the post uh, automatically, because the ice is coming. And it always seems to fall where you are. So, oh shoot, that's gonna block me in. Uh, ha -ha. I don Maku with that like a pro. <laughs> but yeah, it always seems to fall down where you last were, so... Yeah. <laughs> you know, whenever it falls in the water. So you gotta keep moving, basically, to stay in okay position. And there we go. Oh, he didn't do it three times. I thought it was always three times. Well, whatever. One down, one to go! And it turns to stone. Or sand, or something. <laughs> Alright, let's get it connected. Hold that L button, do not let go, PK Gam, like you were doing with the other tightropes. And victory is mine! Woo! Look how nicely the screens match up. <laughs> yeah! But they don't match up when they crisscross over, you know, the heads crisscross over. It's, it's similar to the uh, uh, Cuba sisters in that the graphics match up perfectly, but the um, enemies and shots don't match up perfectly. Whew! More sand! And that was a fun boss battle. Heck yeah! Whew! Two more minutes! Yeah! Now we're going to have to go back to the Temple of the Ocean King to make progress, which our dungeon item here will be able to help us with. That's secretly why I didn't go through the other floors that we had access to after we got past the last floor that we could go to, because there wasn't any more that we could do because we needed the grappling hook. Anyway, two minutes have been added. <laughs> Woohoo! And guess what we get inside the chest? Guess what we get inside the chest? Guess it! Guess it! Oh my god, it's a potato! You were 
expecting that, weren't you? <laughs> Alright. Upsy daisy. Yep, the screens match up just beautifully. <laughs> and now. And now. Oh, we can do a little tour of the room, I guess? That really wasn't uh, much of a tour because there wasn't much to see here, but a tour nonetheless. <laughs> it's Azarine, the pure metal! What? It's not that. Yes, I did. Things got pretty wild and woolly on this island, but it was all worth it. Indeed it was. In more ways than one. This was a really fun island to take care of. And now... We can take a shortcut out! Woo! And as per a reward that we can get if we leave... By reward, I mean... Greeting! <laughs> Looks like you got your hands on the Azarine! Nice going, guy! You guy, I'm a Rue! Yeah, this is the missing one. No, seriously, the real deal. So here's the story. There I was, sipping my stew, when all of a sudden a crazy yook bagged me. Maybe it was when you exposed the yook who was pretending to be me. But that barrier thing that was keeping me locked up dropped and I escaped. I didn't see any barrier thing, but whatever. So, uh, thanks for that. You're welcome. Huh? If you're looking for a thank you gift, you're out of luck. Oh, you're looking for a compliment. No. What? <laughs> Okay, I'll say yes to that. Yes, I was looking for a compliment. Get ready, get ready! And then get back. <sighs> ready? Here comes your fancy compliment! You're something amazing! You're that guy! <laughs> and there is our compliment. The best reward we could possibly get from this dungeon ever. And thus, I'm gonna end off the part here on that high note. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed! And I will see you in the next part when I explore, well, this sort of rope obstacle course, among other things on this island and other islands, in some side quest parts. Woohoo!